All right, here's another matrix multiplication problem. And in this one, again, like any matrix multiplication problem you encounter, you encounter, I want you to check the dimensions first because that's going to tell you whether or not you can even multiply them. Our first matrix is a 3 by 2, 3 rows, 2 columns. Our second matrix is a 2 by 2 because that's 2 rows, 2 columns. Check the inside numbers. See that they are equal to each other. 2 does equal 2. Then take a look at the two outside numbers, 3 and 2. That'll give you the dimensions of the product matrix. So I'm going to go and lay that out over here. We have a 3 by 2, so 3 rows and 2 columns. Now, just like a 2 by 2 times a 2 by 2, you need to look at the elements and you need to decide which rows and which columns you need. This first element we have here is row 1, column 1. So we're going to look at row 1, column 1 and we're going to use each number once. We're going to take the first thing we see, 5 from the first matrix, multiply it by the first thing we see in the second, 3. 5 times 3. We're going to add to that the second elements we see, in this case 2 times negative 2. Now, let's just keep going. Second element is second row, first column. 0 times 3 plus negative 4 times negative 2. Next one, third row, first column, because this element right here is third row, first column. 1 times 3 plus 6 times negative 2. Now, I hope you realize at this point that if you look right here, and I'm going to circle something in green, if you look right here, and right here, you will see that the entire first matrix is recreated. The entire first matrix. 501, 501, 501, 2, negative 4, 6, 2, negative 4, 6. That's a good way to check to see that you are, in fact, setting these up correctly. All right, let's continue. We're now on first row, second column. So first row, second column, 5 times 7 plus 2 times 0. Let's take a look at second row, second column, second row, second column, 0 times 7 plus negative 4 times 0. And last but not least, we have third row, second column, because this element is third row, second column. 1 times 7 plus 6 times 0. From here, it's just order of operations, a little bit of uh, multiplication and addition to get your product matrix. And your product matrix will be 11, 35, 8, 0, and negative 9, 7. Again, it all starts going back to looking at if your dimensions make this thing possible. Look at your inside numbers, make sure they match, and then your outside numbers give the dimensions of the product matrix.